Let's now take a look at the synthesis technique being applied here in Animoxy. It's a combination of wavetable and vector synthesis. So in the timbers page here, we get eight different timbers. And each timbre is essentially a wavetable. So let's say I'll swap out that very first wavetable. I'll tap over here, and then in this browser, load in a particular wavetable. Let's preview it. All right, so we have that wavetable on that very first timbre. Now back in the orbs, this is essentially a three-dimensional space. We can use the two-finger gesture to scroll across and see the three-dimensional space. We also have three different views here. Let's keep it at that top view, makes it a bit easy to explain things. So we're currently looking at the x-axis and the y-axis. So let me position this little orb somewhere at the top over here. So when I play a note, we're playing a particular sound from that first wavetable. And if I scroll that orb across the x-axis, we are essentially interpolating between all the different wavetable positions. So that's basically the very first wavetable. And we have eight of these. So let's load in something else, maybe in this third slot here. I'm going to tap this button here and find something else. Maybe the saw phase. All right, so I like that. So now we still have that control on x-axis. But if I go downwards on y-axis, at approximately somewhere in this third position, we can now scroll through that third wavetable. And that's essentially how this works. On the x-axis, you get wavetable interpolating, and on the y-axis, you get timbre interpolating. Now it is a three-dimensional space, so on the third dimension, on the z-axis, you get to interplay between the eight timbres here again. So let me demonstrate this to you one more time. So position this somewhere up top here. I'm going to move to the x-axis with this orbit feature. So we're now scrolling through that first wavetable. Okay, let's disable that on the y-axis. We're scrolling through the eight different timbers. There's mainly two or three different ones, because if you remember, we only have two or three different ones that we changed out. Everything else is a static fat saw. And then lastly, on the z-axis, We have the same control, which is scrolling through the eight different timbres. So that is how the synthesis engine works in Animoxy.